Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Crown of Thistles and Natasha's Dance War and Peace. I'm going to do a gradient and stamp on it. I've started off with Miltique's Formula 2 and here is A England Crown of Thistles and I've topped it off with Posh Top Coat. I've also got some liquid latex on three of my digits and I'll be gra gradient with Crown of Thistles and Natasha's Dance War and Peace also by A. England. I'll be using a dampened makeup sponge that I've cut in half and I'm just going to gradient with these two colors today. And I, you know, I don't know why I picked this color combo, but you know, I just did. <laughs> Sorry, I was having some technical difficulties. We're back in business now. So I've just decided this was what I wanted to do today and I'm going to do this gradient on my thumb and my middle and ring fingers today. You know, sometimes we just need a break from regular colors and you guys know I'm pretty notorious for dancing to my own drum and doing whatever, you know, because it, it's nail polish. If you don't like it, <laughs> you're not stuck with it for a long time like a bad hair job, you know, like you get some dye you don't like or a color you didn't like. It's this, that you don't have to wait for this to grow out. It comes right off. But I like this one, just, you know, getting it together. And these, I only had to do two passes on these nails. That's how opaque these polishes are. Just hollow delicious too. So I'm going to use my little tweezers and try to get this latex off. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard with this today. But, you know, it is what it is. And there we go. Good boing. And I'm going to get this off of all of my fingers. You guys know what a ninny I am. I want to get that stuff off as just as quick as I can. And some of that polish has dried so fast that it's just kind of flaking right off the top of that. It's okay. We're going to get it. We're going to get all of it off. Having a little trouble with that one. That's okay, because we have tweezers. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with a little piece of tape and just get some of that loose polish and excess latex off. Anything that's still kind of hanging out and, you know, um, I don't want it to pop back up on my fingernail and mess up my design here in a minute. I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some pure acetone and clean this up a little bit before I do the next step. And I am going around and being a ninny and getting all of it like it's the final, you know, job. <laughs> there we go. This tidies up so well. These A England polishes are easy to clean up. There's not a lot of, um, you know, like staining or you know, getting, it's not, I mean, I've got cracked little fingers and, you know, I've got skin that's just kind of, with this weather, this cold weather, you know, doesn't matter how much lotion and oil I use, my, my skin is just kind of funky. So, um, got some little cracks that could be showing. I'm going to be using this Beauty Big Bang 09 plate and this is from the Floral Collection and I'll be stamping with Natasha's Dance War and Peace, my big clear stamper that's like the bling one from Born Pretty and I'll be using the Beauty Big Bang scraper today. I want you to see how awesome these stamp. I didn't even test this because I knew that it would. I have stamped with A England polishes before. And I'm cleaning that off that stamper off on my lint roller and I'm cleaning that plate with pure acetone and a cotton bud and that thing that I'm using is called a um, cotton claw they used to sell them at Sally's but I think they've been discontinued you can find a very similar product on AliExpress and Born Pretty and probably Wish and a bunch of those other places um, it might not be pink and like that but it's still a cotton claw and um, they're huge handy when you're stamping and now I'm going in and just cleaning up with some tape. And this is coming up pretty well. Ta-da! I 
like my little fingers are doing an acrobat dance or something. It's just crazy. All right, so here we go. We're going to go in with the cleanup brush and some acetone. You can use nail polish remover. You don't have to use the same exact things I do. In fact, if you have a beautiful purple color and a black color like this, you could do this manicure with whatever brand you have. I just use these because I have them. Cleanup's just so easy with these. Another, another plus for the A England polishes. So here we go. I'm going to top this one off with some Posh Top Coat. I didn't show the bottle because I just, that's what I always use. It's kind of silly to show the bottle. If I do use something else, I will, <laughs> I will let you know. <laughs> but normally it's Posh. So there we go. We've got our gradient and our stamping done on our accent nails. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you like this one. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.